Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about logical equivalence formulas in discrete mathematics and graph theory course. Logical equivalence formulas can also be called as equivalence formulas or are laws of logic. We can go for a uh, loss of logic. First one is law of double negation. Suppose we are taking preposition P. We have to apply the negation for preposition P. It becomes negation P. Once again, we are applying the negation for negation P. So, now it becomes negation of negation P is always logically equivalent to P. This law is called as law of double negation. That means we are applying the negation two times. Then it can be called as law of double negation. Next. Second one is idempotent law. We are taking preposition P. I am taking the same preposition another time. In between them, we have to use R connective. That means P or P is always logically equivalent to P. Next one, I am taking preposition P. I am also taking the same preposition P. In between them, we have to use and connective. So, P and P always logically equivalent to P. So, this law can be called as idempotent law. Next, third one is identity law. Suppose we are taking preposition P. For that preposition, I am taking some universally false value that is false. In between them, we have to use R connective. What is the result we are getting? In the place of P, we are substituting true value. So, now it becomes true or false. So, what is the equivalent truth value? True or false is logically equivalent to true. Next one. In the place of P, we are substituting false value. False or false is logically equivalent to false. That means... In the place of P, we are substituting true value. We are getting the result is true value. In the place of P, we are substituting false value. Then we are getting false value. That means whatever the true value we are substituting in the place of P, the same truth value we are getting. Hence, we can say that P or false is logically equivalent to P. Whatever the truth value we are substituting here, the same truth value we are getting. In the place of P, true substituted, we are getting true value. In the place of P, we are substituting false value, we are getting false value. Hence, we can say that the result value is P. So, P or false is nothing but P. Next one, in the same way, we are taking Preposition P. For that preposition, I am taking universally true value. That is true. In between them, we have to use and connective. Okay. What is the equivalent truth value? In the place of P, we are substituting true value. So, it becomes, so true and true, it becomes true. Next, in the place of P, we are substituting false value. So, false and true is logically equivalent to false. That means, 
whatever the truth value we are substituting in the place of p the same truth value we are getting hence we can say that p under true is nothing but p p or false is nothing but p so this is called as identity law for a given proposition we are uh, universally we are taking universally false value in between them we have to use or connective then it is equivalent to proposition p we are taking proposition p for that proposition we are taking universally truth value that is true in between them we have to use and connective that is always logically equivalent to p next fourth one is inverse loss so we are taking proposition p what is the inverse of proposition p inverse is nothing but negation so negation of p is nothing but negation p in between them we have to use r connective so p r negation p is always equivalent to true value next i am taking proposition p negation of that proposition p is negation p in between them we have to use and connective so p and negation p always logically equivalent to false so p or negation p is always logically equivalent to universally true that that can be denoted by capital t p and negation p is always logically equivalent to universal false that can be denoted by yeah okay next one is domination law so what is domination law i am taking proposition p we are taking universally true value that is true in between them we have to use or connective okay what is the equivalent truth value in the place of p i am substituting true so that means true or true is logically equivalent to true next in the place of p i am substituting false value so it becomes false or true it always becomes true that means whatever the true values that are substituted in the place of p but the result is we are getting true both the times in the place of p we are substituting true value we are getting the true value in the place of p we are substituting false value we are getting true value okay that means uh, if this true value can dominate the proposition p true value hence we can say that it can be called as domination law next in the same way i am taking this one we are taking proposition p next i am taking universally false value so in between them we have to use and connective what is the equivalent truth value in the place of p i am substituting true value so it becomes true and false is logically equivalent to false according to and truth table next in the place of p i am substituting false value false and false it becomes false okay that means in the place of p whatever the truth value we are substituting but we are getting the result as false so this false value can dominate the truth value of p hence we can say that p and p p and f always logically equivalent to false p or p always logically equivalent to true so this this law can be called as domination law this law can be also called as domination law next one, sixth one is commutative law so i am taking two propositions p q 
in between them we have to use r connective so that means p r q is logically equivalent to q r p next i am taking the same two propositions in between them we have to use and connective so p and q is logically equivalent to q and p so this law can be called as commutative law so whatever the propositions are there that same in between that proposition we are using r connective that can be write in reverse form that is here p r q is there here we have to write q r p so there is no change in the result hence we can say that p r q logically equivalent to q r p p and q is logically equivalent to q and p next one next law is absorption law for any two propositions p and q i am taking so p and q here i am taking proposition p in between them we have to use r connective so p r p and q is always logically equivalent to p next i am taking r connective in between the two propositions p r q i am taking proposition p in between them we have to use and connective it is always logically equivalent to p so keep in uh, keep this point is most important here r connective is there in between the two propositions and connective is there here and connective is there in between the two propositions r connective is there but the first one is always proposition p p r p and q is logically equivalent to p p and p r q is always logically equivalent to p next one is a uh, de morgan's law so this is most important law so de we are taking two propositions so that are p and q in between them we have to use and connective we have to apply negation for the entire compound statement so negation of p and q is logically equivalent to we have to apply the negation negation of p is nothing but negation p negation of and is nothing but r negation of q is nothing but negation q so negation of p and q is logically equivalent to negation p or negation q next in the same way i am taking two propositions in between them we have to use r connective for the entire compound statement we have to apply the negation so it is logically equivalent to apply the negation within the parenthesis negation of p is nothing but negation p negation of r is nothing but and negation of q is nothing but negation q so negation of p or q is logically equivalent to negation p and negation q these two laws are called as de morgan's laws next one next one is associative law associative law applied on three propositions that are p q and r so here p r q r r so here we have to use the same symbol in between the uh, q and r we have to use the r connective here also r connective so p r q r r is equal to p r q r r so before the logical equivalent symbol so the parenthesis for q r r after the logical equivalent the parenthesis is used for p r q only only 
parenthesis we are changing symbols r symbol is both sides same so before the logical equivalent symbol the parenthesis is for qrr after the logical equivalent symbol the parenthesis for prq okay there is no change at all wo except the parenthesis next in the same way here p and q and r so the parenthesis is for q and r before the logical equivalent symbol after the logical equivalent symbol the parenthesis used for the first two propositions p and q so and r so this is called as associative law whenever we are applying the associative law so the same symbol we have to use here r connective is there here and connective is there for the entire compound statement only we have to use and connective here for the entire compound statement we have to use r connective but in the case of absorption law here, here we are use if it is and connective is there between p and q here we have to use r connective in between the p and q propositions we have to use r connective here we have to use and connective okay but this law is applied for only two propositions but this law is applied for three propositions next one is a distributive law distributive law is also applied on three propositions p q and r okay so here p r q and r okay so we have to multiply the entire component within the parenthesis with p r p r is multiplied with q that means we are getting p r q this and symbol same p r is multiplied with r then we are getting p r r okay next one here p and q r r so whatever the compound statement is there within the parenthesis this entire thing can be multiplied with p and so p and is multiplied with q that is p and q so this r symbol is the same p and is multiplied with r we are getting p and r okay so these are the 10 laws can be called as laws of logic or a equivalence formulas or a logical equivalence formulas i hope all of you understanding this video if you have any doubts please put your doubts in the comment section i will try to clarify your doubts if you really understanding this video please subscribe my youtube channel so devela srinivas rao after subscribing my youtube channel click on the bell icon to get the future updates in my youtube channel in the comment section i will give the entire playlist link please watch this uh, videos of discrete mathematics or a discrete mathematics and graph theory thank you thank you one and all for watching this video